Today we're demonstrating how to use our new handy dandy paint dispenser and we have Anthony, our AmeriCorps member, demonstrating for us. So first of all you want to take the dispenser and place it up a little bit higher than the ground. An existing bucket of paint, a five gallon bucket, will work just fine. Then you want to take your paint and fill it, fill the dispenser, oh maybe halfway, I wouldn't put any more than, than that in there of the paint that you're going to use it for. All right. Then we recommend putting a lid on the paint. First Sorry, we have to get a little more, more paint in there. Yeah. You need to fill it up just so that it covers the valve. Once it gets below the valve, obviously, it'll be a little more difficult to dispense. Then you want to take a lid and uh, place it on top. First of all, it would be a good idea to label the paint so that you know exactly what's in the dispenser. This particular dispenser has our exterior gray paint. Then you want to take your paint cup or your paint tray, whichever you're filling, and hold it under the valve. Um, it's good to have two people doing this, but for our demonstration, Anthony can handle it. So you want to turn the valve uh, straight forward, which will release the paint. The size of the valve is made so that the paint comes out at a fairly steady rate, but not too fast and um, you want to hold uh, the container that you're putting it in fairly close to the valve so that you don't get the wind um, catching the paint and blowing it. And then when you've got the amount of paint you need, you just turn off the valve. So you'll want to fill your dispenser throughout the day as needed. And then um, at the end of the day, you want to take the paint that is left in the dispenser and place it back into the, its original container. And um, the important thing is at the end of the day to completely clean out your bucket, uh, your dispenser bucket, um, with um, you know, one of your brushes that is in your house kit, uh, maybe one of your wire, wire brushes if you have one. Um, if you need to bring it back to the warehouse where we have a utility sink to wash it out, that's fine. But we do need your help in making sure these come back as clean as possible and ready to use again. We do have uh, instructions that will be attached to the front of your bucket, uh, front, the front of your dispenser uh, for reference as needed. So um, we hope you find this new dispenser helpful and hopefully it helps contain the mess a little bit better. Thank you, Anthony.